guys, my name is Zua from Jeva. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create your first 5M resource. So uh, I have this code that we were going to make um, in the link in the description. It's on GitHub. You can, if you want it, it'll be there. And uh, yeah, so first what we're going to do, since we're going to be creating uh, Lua files and uh, coding in there, I want you to get a good coding editor instead of Notepad or Notepad++. I highly recommend Visual Studio Code. It's I This is what I use and this is what I will use in the video. And um, also Sublime Text is also a good recommendation. I'll put both of these links in the description below for you guys to check out and just get one of them. So um, what we're gonna want to do is go to go to our server folder that we you know created and uh, modified in the past two episodes. I'm just gonna open that up. Oops. And go to our CFX server data master. Uh, click on resources. We're gonna right click and click on new. And we're gonna be call we're gonna be creating our first resource. So this resource is gonna be inside of a uh, folder here. So we're, we're gonna call it a help because we're creating a help command essentially. Um, so right here, before we go ahead, we're gonna click on view and um, make sure you have file name extensions on. Just makes your life easier. So right here, we're gonna create the Lua files that we're going to need to create this resource. So we're gonna need a underscore underscore that's two underscores by the way uh, resource dot lua click yes and then another file we're gonna call it help c and I'll tell you why we're doing that it's because um this is the help resource and then this is uh the c means client because it's good it's a client sided script essentially and it's just a good practice to put your files like these because um, it's good for error handling and in the future you'll, you'll probably see. So I'm going to open this up and it automatically opened up in VS Code which is perfect. So um, to actually start this off we're going to need a resource manifest version. Unfortunately on the pro proper 5M documentation uh, the link was dead so um, I just have what I had before so what you're gonna I'll, I'll put this I'll put this for you to copy in the link in the description so I'm just gonna type in resource resource underscore manifest underscore version and then um just uh in quotes you can paste I, I have this copied but I'll put this in the description below and um yeah, this is the resource lua underscore underscore that's two underscores and then we're gonna make a client script client underscore script and then in here we're gonna be typing help c dot lua and so yeah that's basically how the uh, 5m when it opens up and you see that that resource is started this is what kind of declares what's going on there so we're gonna open up the help c dot lua and it's kind of it's blank right now but let's start it off with actually creating the command here actually no before we do that we're gonna make a function that message messages the player so it's getting a little complicated but it's our function so that's how you create a, it, I'll show you how you create a function in uh, Lua so you just type in function the message uh, I'll put in parameters later and then um, uh, just just so you can see how this works and then in here you have to end the function and then in here we're gonna do trigger event and then the event is chat message and then this accepts a lot of parameters so um, the prefix kind of so I'm just gonna call it server and uh, you'll see what that does later and then um, curly brackets then 255 comma zero comma zero which is red so this is RGB so this is what it's gonna make this red and then uh, comma and then uh, text so this text isn't defined but we're gonna define it through the function and uh, you'll see how this works when we actually make the uh, command here so um, I like to put my functions on the bottom as for good practices. Uh, you can too. So let's let's actually register the command using the register command function, and then we're gonna call this command help. And then this uses a function because when this is uh, found, you're going to execute it. So I'm just gonna click enter here. You need to end it and then put a false here. 
and then in here we can actually just use this function uh, so let's type in message and then you can see that what is right here let's say if I change this to uh, this will be outputted along with this and you'll see how that works but I want this to have a parameter so we can just constantly use it for our purposes so I'll just keep it text and that's text um, uh, in quotes in here we can just type in like uh, you guess your, your servers discord discord.gg slash yeah whatever and then we'll do message function um, servers website and then it, it can just be like your guys server website I cannot, uh, web, oops, website it's it should be fine so now to actually make this start up um, during the uh, process where your 5m server starts up I'm gonna go back to our CFX server data master where our server CFG is and uh, remember in, uh, episode 2 where we configured our 5m server we created a separate uh, CFG folder or CFG file for our resources so I'm gonna I'm gonna open that up and these are the core that comes with 5m so I'm gonna create a little comment here saying our resources and then our new resource is called help because that's what we named that folder so yeah uh, we gotta make it start help Oops. and then that should start up help so let's start our server up and as you can see it started help uh, we didn't get an error so um, I'm gonna open up 5m and show you how this uh, command works so I'll be right back Alright, so we are in 5 <coughs> excuse me, we are in 5M now, so since our server is on our, you know, our main computer, it's going to play on Direct Connect, type in that, or you can type in localhost, you can see that our server comes up, that we configured from the last episode, so I'm just going to click connect and let that join the server. So it looks like we joined in our server here. Um, sorry for the lag. So now, uh, since our resources started, we can click on T. Oh, I forgot to log into Steam. That's why it says of our. Okay, so we can do slash help. And as you can see, um, it it does it does what we made it do. So I'm gonna be showing you. Um, where is it? Right, uh, right here. There's a help C. Um, we could change it to whatever we want and help should remember that uh, oops remember that server the, the thing that's in red you can change that to whatever you want let's say um, bot and then um, we can change we'll just keep it simple just say hi or let's call this second line you can just essentially keep making lines by uh, you know making uh, I don't know why I said third there first and then restart the resource by typing in restart uh, help that restarts it so if we type in slash help it says first line and second line and uh, you can see that it says bot so uh, hopefully you guys you know understand what's going on here uh, and if you got up to this point congratulations you created your first uh, 5m resource and um, yeah subscribe in the future we're gonna be going more in debt and uh, we'll get into server uh, server events and fun stuff like that so just Subscribe and uh, yeah, have a, have a good day guys.